this week on Steel Horse Thunder. Most organized chaos you'll ever see. <laughs> <laughs> Tis the season for giving in the motorcycle community. Somebody's got somebody's to do something, you know. Uh, one person can make a difference. We take the money we would spend on each other and give it to the less fortunate in our area. We make our annual trek to Southside Harley-Davidson to see Santa. Mom and Dad, what do you want for Christmas? A day of peace. I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> All that and much more this week on Steel Horse Thunder. I'll ride year-round. You know, some people say they have a riding season, but uh, basically my passion doesn't have a season. If there's not snow or ice on the ground, I'll ride. Hey, we're down in Lawrence County. We're at the National Guard Armory. Cindy, what in the world is going on here? This is the Toys for Tots, and I think there's about 300 kids there receiving toys. It's amazing. It is. They're eating pizza. I know there's a lot of toys coming up, but you know this doesn't happen overnight. This actually got started many months ago. So why don't we take a look back in time and see how this all got started. Hey, this Christmas on Steel Horse Thunder, we're going to be taking a journey. we got a long ways to go. Tonight, it's stop one. Cindy, where are we at? We are in downtown Bedford at the old downtown tavern, and we are collecting presents for the Toys for Tots. Well, you know, and I know this is just one leg of it. I know there's going to be a time where we're going to be wrapping presents, sorting presents out, giving them out. But you know what? It's got to start somewhere, and tonight is when it starts. What do you say we go inside and find out what's going on? Let's go. Keith, we're here in Bedford, Indiana. I know this is the official Toys for Tots event, kind of a kickoff for this part, this time of the year. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how this whole thing got started? I guess what inspired me was the very first uh, time I worked the Toys for Tots giveaway, when we actually give the toys to the children. Um, to see the look on these kids' face, if you don't have a heart, uh, you couldn't do this. I mean, I mean, it just amazed me. Uh, the children have nothing all year long, and the work that we do all year uh, to try to generate money for the Toys for Tots. So you guys brought presents in tonight, too, to um, support this cause. Yes. Uh, actually, several years back, uh, my wife and I found out we couldn't have kids. And ever since then, we've, we've pretty much adopted children in the area. Uh, we don't buy ourselves Christmas even. Uh, we take the money we would spend on each other and give it to the less fortunate in our area. That is amazing. I am so surprised that you guys, I mean, that, that it's so awesome. I mean, it, it was, I want to cry. <laughs> I mean, for you guys to be able to do that, to go out and support other kids because of that, um, that is just such a blessing to other kids. Thank you so much for that. We're, we're here for the Toys for Tots run. And tell me, what is it um, that started this? Uh, back in the late 1990s, um, our pastor stuff wanted to do something for the local kids that were, their parents were incarcerated. And I believe it started with only about 13 kids. And it's grown to uh, as much as anywhere from 350 to 450 kids a year. We still do, um, uh, through the Salvation Army now is where we get our list, and we still do for the kids uh, where the parents are incarcerated. We get 50 to 75 a year out of that. So uh, in cooperation with the Marine Corps and Crane Naval Base out here, that's why we can carry the Toys for Tots logo. We have permission from the United States Marine Corps to do that. Uh, every year we get toys from the Crane Naval Base with us and three other counties involved. Uh, they really help out a lot from a lot of organizations here in town. Uh, but that's how it all started basically and it's just grown from 13 kids to what we're doing now. Uh, what started out just a few hundred dollars to about a $10,000 a year operation. Well, it's that time of year again. We have made our annual pilgrimage up to Southside Harley-Davidson. Cindy, tell them what's going on today. We are here to see Santa Claus and it's going to be fun. Santa? Santa! I know him! I know him! <laughs> We are here to see Santa and there's also a lot of good shopping going on and this place is packed with people, lots of Steel Horse Thunder fans, lots of Harley fans. Let's go talk to them. Santa, can you tell me what the most popular thing is this year for Christmas that kids are asking for? Oh my goodness, there's so many things. Uh, Xboxes, uh, dolls for the little girls, and uh, oh lord, bicycles, and uh, you know, they say the ball is still the number one toy. Sometimes uh, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of boys want uh, uh, mopeds and things like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you name it, they want it. <laughs> so you don't get a lot of people asking for the little paddle ball thing anymore or the Etch-A-Sketch? No, not too much anymore. <laughs> so much, no, yeah. no, <laughs> no. 
That's back in my day. Yeah, back in my day, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, well, well, Santa, we, we appreciate you coming out here to Southside Harley-Davidson. Appreciate what you do here. And I know I know this is a lot of people. This is what brings on the Christmas spirit for them is when they come to Southside and see you. Yeah, I enjoy it very much. It's a lot of fun. Been doing it for years here, and I, I really enjoy it. So come back. All right, thanks. You were, you're welcome. Well, we're here to see Santa. Or is that what you're here for? That's what we're here for. Got my grandkids and my puppy. I thought the grandkids was the puppy. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is my puppy. This is my grandkids. This is Levi and Ava. Ava! Were well, you guys all, all excited to see Santa? We're really excited to see Santa. <laughs> so do you think he's going to bring you what you want? Well, I already got my present. Can I ask what your present was? It was a 38 revolver. Nice. <laughs> maybe I. <laughs> yes. Well, maybe I could come and you could let me shoot okay. that revolver. I'm going to take my lessons in January. Sweet. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You guys have fun seeing Santa. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Do you know that's the coolest invention ever made? Is the battery for mommy's phone because they never ever stop. <laughs> so, are you excited about Christmas? Yeah. What do you want for Christmas? You want a horsey? Go big or go home, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I know it's a long wait in line, waiting for Santa, but at least you got Mommy's phone to play with, right? Now, the, the crowd gets a little rough when Santa's in town. Did this happen while you were in line? No. Did people beat you up trying to get back there to see Santa before you? No. Black Friday shopping, you got to Walmart too soon, didn't you? No. You never want to be in the front of the line when you do that, okay? Okay. So how'd you get here? What happened to you? What happened to you? Cheerleading. Cheerleading. Did they throw you up and not catch you? Yeah. Pretty much? Yeah. All right, it's Christmas time. We're at Southside Harley-Davidson. Santa Claus is here. I see you looking around. Are, are you in line? Do you have a number to see Santa, or you just come up here to do some shopping? No, I'm not see, here to see Santa. I think I'd scare him if I sat on his lap. <laughs> but, uh, no, we're here looking for my uh, future grandkids some Harley-Davidson clothes. Got to get them started early, don't you? There you go. There you go. <laughs> so do you come out here a lot? I mean, is this something you normally would do on, on the holidays when they have Santa here and they have some sales going on? Yep, we sure will. We enjoy it. You know, we got coming out here, and uh, we both own Harleys. So, um, you know, anytime the holiday stuff, we come on down, check it out. No doubt, and Southside always does it up right here, and my gosh, this whole parking lot was full, the Menards parking lot was full, I mean, there's cars parked everywhere to come out here. Uh, this is a really cool thing. To me, To me, this is kind of like brings on the Christmas season for me. Yes, it does, definitely. It's a good thing. All right, so what are you asking Santa for Christmas? Well, I'd like a Road Glide Ultra, but that probably ain't going to happen, so I'll end up with a t-shirt. Is that right? <laughs> So you want a t-shirt, but it's got to have the road glide on the, on the button, That'll right? Work. That'll work, definitely. Right on. Well, I hope you heard that, and uh, you can take care of that. <laughs> We're going to do a follow-up next year and make sure you got your t-shirt. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> so what brings you out here today? Just doing some Christmas shopping, seeing that Santa's going to be here, so let the kids enjoy that. So are you guys going to see Santa? Yes. Are you excited about seeing Santa? Yeah. yeah. Are you excited about shopping? Yeah. yeah. Are you guys excited to see Santa? Yes. Yes. So what, what are you guys asking for for Christmas? Um, I'm asking for some gymnastics stuff and like, just stuff like that, just like toys. I don't really know. <laughs> you don't know? You, you don't have much time. You better hurry. Um, some five seconds of summer stuff. What is it? It's a band, five seconds of summer. A band, you wanna go see them? Yeah. <laughs> Where at? Uh, they're coming to Indianapolis. Cool, well I hope Santa brings you guys all that you want. Mom and Dad, what do you want for Christmas? A day of peace. I understand that. <laughs> Dad. I'm ready for the new Harley. You want a new Harley? Are you going to get it or are you just going to get a t-shirt like the other guy? I'm going to get one. <laughs> Now it's time for the Southside Harley-Davidson Woman Rider. Kelly Jo, I love your outfit. Thank you. You're all decked out for the 4th of July. Exactly. Um, this is your bike. Mm -hmm. um, you're a woman rider. How long have you been riding? It'll be a year, about this month. Wow, well that's pretty nice. This yes. is 
so is this the only bike you've ever had? No, I've got a 92 Springer, and but I enjoy riding the Fat Boy more. <laughs> yeah. I do. <laughs> it's just easier to ride. So do you have any plans for the future to go any, any long trips or anything? Well, I know we're planning on going to Florida as soon as work allows. We can take time off together and take a long ride to Florida. Visit friends. That would be awesome. So um, you're a new rider, but yes. you're doing really good. You're, you've got some good trips involved for yourself for the, over the time. So did you go through the abate course? Yes, I did, and uh, I couldn't have ridden without it. And I'm, I'm also going to take uh, more advanced classes in the future um, because you, you're always learning, and they, and they do a wonderful class, and, and I think I can always learn more and improve. I totally agree because I went through the course and I think that they do a wonderful job. Yes, so everybody the right should. I couldn't have ridden without them. Exactly. I didn't have the confidence and so. so you did the three day course? Yes I did. Yes. It's awesome. Yes it is. They did a great job. Keith, the big day is finally here. I know you guys have put so much work and, and time into this. How is this process going to work? I know there's kids already outside lined up. Um, how is this going to work? We are lined around the building already. Uh, 22nd year of doing this. What we're going to do is we, we bring the, the children in and the parents. Here at stage one, I guess we should say, we check in their names, we check them in, we give, we give them a ticket for a drawing. At the end of the process, the tickets are for the bicycles, which we have about 100 bicycles again this year. Um, we're going to start here. They're going to come right here behind me in the table of the buckets. Uh, we're going to eat pizza. We're going to have a good time. We've got a live puppet show. One of the churches is putting on. Uh, then we got a back room back here that they're going to go through and get their toys. We keep the parents out of that area because it's now all about the kids. <laughs> we let them pick out the toys. I like um, that. So uh, then they come back in. Sometimes we have enough toys for two or three times they get to go through, which is absolutely wonderful. And it's going to be a great year this year. It is just great. Well, we're here at the Toys for Touch. You guys were here at the beginning when we were down town Bedford at the tavern there. So can you tell me about um, what, how you feel about what's going on today? Because the interview that I did with you back then was pretty emotional. So can you tell me about it today? Um, I'm really excited. This is our first time of coming out and seeing this and just the kids lined up outside. They're all excited and ready to go. So how many kids are out there? Oh, they're wrapped around the building already. I'd say there's probably a couple hundred kids out there already. Well, I heard that there was 300 that are actually signed up for this and they do take a few more if they come in. Um, I know that's exciting for you guys. Um, it's awesome that you're able to be here today and see the kids, the joy on their faces when they come walking in the room. So. Donna, we're here at the Toys for Tots, and I know that you did a lot of the work putting this together. Can you tell me about that? Yes, we we had um, sign-ups where people who are in need of Christmas help, they come in and sign up with us, and then they have the option of bringing their children to the party. And so as they sign up for other things with us, for food and clothing and, and other um to have a toy under the tree on Christmas morning, uh, we also give them the option of this party. That's amazing. How many kids do you have that, that have uh, been signed up today for this event? This event, we have 300 children, and, um, and it's amazing. They are all needy children. Uh, when the parents come in to sign them up, we check those kinds of things, and, and uh, and they're definitely children that need to have a party like this at Christmas. Now I know this is not technically an abate function, but I know abate uh, here in Lawrence County has an awful lot to do with this. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing? Yes, uh, for 22 years now we have collected money and then purchased toys for the kids of Lawrence County, Mitchell and Bedford. Mitchell and Bedford? Yes, uh -huh. all of Lawrence County. And what makes what made Abate want to get so involved in this? Because I know without you guys, it really it, it would be impossible to get this thing going. Uh, true. Um, well, Abate, uh, they a long time ago, back in the early days, uh, the bikers behind bars were the 
how it got started. They, they got the names of the bikers and then did for their children. Since then it has grown to getting our names from the Salvation Army to kids that are in need. Well, we appreciate everything you guys are doing, and uh, what, what, what's going on here today is just phenomenal. It, it truly is a Christmas miracle. Can you tell me how you found out about this uh, Toys for Tots? Um, my kids go to uh, the primary schools here in Bedford, and they signed them up through the school. So how, how happy are you about being able to bring them in for this today? Uh, I think it's a fantastic thing for you guys to hold this in Bedford for us. And how happy are these boys about getting toys? Oh, they were ecstatic. Matter of fact, one's already got it out of the wrapping. Oh, they already said what they wanted for Christmas? Oh, yeah. We got a list about three pages long. Well, good. Well, thank you so much for coming out here today. And I'm so glad that they have something like this for you. So, you guys, Merry Christmas and Happy Merry, New Year. Merry Christmas to you guys, too. And I hope everybody has a great year. So, all this that's going on, I mean, this is pretty amazing. Um, I mean, what, what does this mean to you? It's wonderful that they do so many great things all year to try to get the money to help all these kids and all the families. I got four kids so it's very helpful and stuff and it's just really amazing that everybody can get together and do you know something like this for the kids that you know aren't as fortunate or that you know for the parents that have trouble you know making getting it all together and stuff and it's really nice that you know they help you make a better Christmas and stuff. Yeah, I, I am just blown away by how this is working out, and, and it's pretty well organized, too. Yeah, we've been coming here for several years and stuff, and, I mean, every year, I mean, it just gets better and better. I mean, it's really nice. They do more and more with the kids and stuff, and I'm really grateful for it every year. That's real cool. So your son went through earlier at the younger age, and now she's getting ready to go through? I got four of them, and, yeah, we just we end up here all day and stuff now that they're getting older and stuff, but... It's, it's pretty cool and stuff, and it's worth it at the end of the day. So you guys are out here for the Toys for Tots today. Can you tell me um, how excited you are to be here today? They're beyond excited. I mean, it's a blessing. They're beyond excited. She saw Santa, and she never usually likes them, so <laughs> it was really exciting. So are you guys really excited for all the toys that are coming in? Yes. <laughs> what is it that you want Santa to bring you? A doll. A doll? She said she wanted Aww. a doll and a diaper bag. So. And a diaper bag. <laughs> <laughs> they're bashful. <laughs> That's okay. They're going to have fun going back there and get toys. Yeah. So what does it mean for you guys personally to be able to bring the kids in? Well, I think it's a, a huge relief on the parents, you know, to be able to come here and all these kids, to service all the kids. That's all these two have talked about all night last night, you know, wouldn't hardly go to sleep. Just about coming out here? Yeah. It was a huge relief for Papaw just passed last night, so this is like made their day. It's a huge relief. <laughs> I also understand you have a grandson that was actually interviewed as a young child with Steve Reeves. Is that true? That's correct. His name's Seth. It was seven, uh, it was 11 years ago. He's 17 now. He was six. It was at the Ridge Runners Rump in Bean Blossom, Indiana. He was had a little plastic Harley, and uh, and Steve interviewed him at that event. <laughs> And now he rides a Harley of his own, does he not? Yes, he does. He took the A-Bait Rider course and full-fledged motorcycle rider. <laughs> that is so cool, because now I'm wondering, some of these little kids that I've talked to now, it's like, man, am I going to be around 11 years from now and be able to talk to them again? That's really cool. Yeah, yes, it is. It's wonderful. Well, it's been neat being able to watch you guys this year. And I know, you know, we got together earlier down, down at the... Uh, 
the tavern there in, in Bedford. And I know that was another thing where, you know, they kind of opened the doors right up to you guys and said, you can use it however you want. Yeah, I went in and at the time, Will Fortner was, uh, was the owner of it. And I just went in and I said, Will, I'd like to, I'd like to have your bar. And he looked at me kind of strange and, and uh, then I got into why and what it was all about. Um, and unfortunately, he passed away the very few, just a few days after that, and I didn't have a chance to thank him. Um, so I definitely want to say thank you, Will, and the family. Uh, it just shows what kind of a heart people have when it comes to the kids, and uh, with what he done, and, and just opened his doors for us. I just I appreciate that so much, and I just want to say, you know. My heart goes out to, to his family and everybody that, that was in on that, so it was a wonderful thing. And we met the new owners, and they're going to continue to let us use their bar and do whatever. So um, hopefully we're going to have even a more successful year next year. Well, hey, that's going to do it for us this week on Steel Horse Thunder. We hope you enjoyed this special Christmas episode. Remember, like us on Facebook so you can keep up with us during the winter months. And also, your favorite episodes will be re-airing throughout the winter months as well. And we want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And thank you all for tuning in to us. Carrie McGill, get the eggnog flowing. We're headed your way. And if the eggnog runs out, a tall rolling rock will do. Remember, it's not what you ride. It's that you ride. No, no waving. We're rolling. Hi. <laughs> All right, Keith, the reason I pulled you out, I noticed you were wearing a really cool shirt. Uh, man, I tell you what, I'd give about anything to have a shirt like this. Hey, this season on Steel Horse Thunder. Ho, ho, ho. I know, that was pretty good. That was a good ho, ho, ho. We're just a ho, ho, ho. Hey, we're... Hey, we're down here in Bedford. Hey, we're here in... Hey, we're down in Lawrence County. We're at the... Well, that's gonna do it for us on our special... Well, that's gonna do it for us on our... On our... Well, that's gonna do it for us this week on Steel Horse Thunder. See, when you get old, it's hard to get down here. Wait till you watch me when I try to get up. It's gonna be, I'm gonna be rolling on the floor. People will be kicking me, trying to. We'll have to help him up, okay? Will you help me up if I fall over? Yeah.